Welcome to Roscoe Garage and More. What we're doing today is we're going to change the tracks on this Toro Dingo TX420. So, first thing you got to do is lift it up. And sometimes uh, it took me a little getting used to to lift this thing up. So here's how we're going to lift it. Uh, we're going to take a 2x4, no attachment. Of course, you can do this a lot of different ways, but this is the way I found it's probably the safest. <laughs> you want to tilt the... Uh, Tilt the attachment plate all the way down, lift your arms up a little bit, come around to the back. Now, uh, my floor jack doesn't go low enough to be able to get under it when it's just sitting on the ground. So what I do is I put two two by fours underneath it, and then I just back it up on top of the two by fours. That gives me an inch and a half higher. That's enough for me to be able to get a jack under it. Now we're just gonna jack the back end of it up. And you don't have to get it real high. Just high enough to where you can maneuver it a little bit. All right. There we go. That's plenty good enough. Now we're going to start it up. And I'm going to boom down onto that 2x4. And that's going to lift the front end up. Tracks are off the ground, they're ready to be changed, serviced, whatever you need to do to them, tighten them. So uh, we've busted a belt in uh, one of these tracks, and I'll show you that here in a minute. It's pretty crazy looking. But uh, that's it. Now I'm going to show you how to take the tracks off and put the other tracks back on. We don't have new tracks, but we got some old ones we're going to put on for now. So stay tuned. Alright, this is how you loosen, tighten, and remove traps. You got one little keeper right here. You spin this little keeper off, and that's all it is. And all that does is keep this from being able to vibrate and turn to loosen and tighten traps. Now these are reverse threads, so when you're tightening, you're really loosening. So you want to make sure you run it right. The only thing you need is a half inch drive. We use Craftsman in my shop. So, what you're gonna do is put it in here and then tighten. that hard but for some reason today it was so there's our old track and we're gonna put the new one on oh, like I said this is not a new track but all right track 
installation. This is how we put one back on. Hopefully it goes better than taking it off because that was pretty rough. Uh, but here we go. We're gonna we just want to start on the side, uh, the drive side, and then roll it on to the front. I found that seems to make it a little bit easier. There's nothing easy about tracks. They will kick your butt every time. But it's not too big a deal. Don't pay somebody to do this. Watch yourself. You got this, man. All right. We'll fire it up and drive it on there. See how it goes. install a track in your pajamas <laughs> see why would you pay somebody to install a track in their pajamas I know I wouldn't and now we're gonna loosen this as in loosen tightens the track <laughs> we'll tighten this up and the measurement you're gonna go I use a zip tie slide in here three and a half inches I double checked that three and a half inches to this edge slide into this collar until you touch that. So that's how tight the track's supposed to be per, tor per Toro. Now let's talk about track tension. Uh, these are set to a specific tension, and most of your tracks, whether they're aftermarket or uh, Toro factory tracks, they all use a measurement system. So this spring, it's pushing forward on all this that's keeping the tracks tight but how much tension that spring on it is determined by this little flat collar in here so I took a zip tie cut it to three and a half inches and then I take and I stick it down in there and I feel it touching so I've got that much more that I've got to go before I'm at three and a half inches inside there kind of a little trick makes it easier so I'm just gonna keep cranking on it until uh, I hit three and a half inches close now. Just about a maybe a three quarters of an inch to go. And try to line this up so that when you're uh oh, there we go. Yeah, this right here. So when you're ready to put your bolt in, you already have it set up this drive. So stick this in here. Get a reading. Ooh, just a little bit more to go. That's pretty tight, too, I'll tell you. I might be too big of a wuss to do this. I'm gonna get a cheater bar or something. All right, we got our track tension set up. Now we just gotta put this little nut back in, this keeper nut, to keep it from being able to vibrate loose, so. There we go. Ta-da! Track's on. Let's test it out real quick. Great! Working perfect. And that's your lesson for today on tracks. Great job. Like, subscribe, share my stuff so you like it. We'll work on more stuff. More breaking and fixing.